Good morning. Happy Saturday. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to Bailey's and Tea Saturday, where we're going to have a little play today with Uniquely Artistic, as you will see here on my desk. I am just trying to get the other device up and going, but it does not want to seem to find Wi-Fi. So I will watch comments from my phone the best that I can. So if you're hopping on, say hello, say good morning. Tell me what the weather's like. Good morning, Rhonda. Oh, maybe it's not even gonna show me my comments. Facebook and the internet world is acting crazy today, people. So we'll see what we can do. If you ask me questions and I don't see them, I'll hop on afterwards, of course, and um, answer any questions that you have because I don't think anything is working this morning. So. Looks like I need to reset the modem. But uh, this is the fun set that we're going to play with. So it's a single stamp, doesn't have any dies or anything like that to go with it. Sunny and cloudy now. Oh, that's too bad, Rhonda. Um, our weather is cloudy here today, so I will get some yard work done after I've finished here because then I won't get too hot while I'm outside. But this is beautiful. It's got this nice... Um, line drawings which are perfect for um, blend coloring or water coloring and uh, then it's got your filler in stamps and it's got some fun little blobs to stick on as well so um, photopolymer obviously um, I've well used some of these they're very dirty but um, just some great elements to add to this good morning Carla I'm seeing some comments not all I apologize if I'm not saying hello to some of you um, good morning, everybody. <laughs> the feed goes pretty quick. So so let's have a look at the card we're going to make today. And of course, I have many samples to show you because um, I have been busy, busy making all kinds of fun things. But I want to draw some attention. Good morning, Gav Valerie. Some attention to this gold distressed 12 by 12 paper. Now, this is cut down but um it is absolutely amazing and if you have not ordered this you need to get it i can't remember off the top of my head what suite it is in um but it is amazing and we had a little talk about the sequin dies if you came to the bogo event you would have seen the card that i made with these and just let me grab the little sample ones of sizes that i have here tucked inside my case. So these are a great addition, I think, to our dye family in that you can create your own sequins and embellishments. So on this one, I've used it and with that gold paper and you'll see how gorgeous those are. If I can get the camera to pick it up. There we go. Oh, you got them, Rhonda? Did I talk you into them? <laughs> um, so you can see here out of the rose gold foil as well. They're just going to make a great addition. And I've seen them kind of layered together. They'd be great like on a baby card. Um, I think they're fun and um, worth a second look if you've overlooked them and thought, well, what are those weird things, right? Um, and as we play, of course, more with them, there'll be more to share. But um, so far, I've just used them as the small... Um, so this little cluster here, I've used mostly this one on my card. Um, I have a few cards that have used this strip of um, sort of larger ones, but these ones seem to be my go-to. So even for those little ones, um, this die set is worth it. So I just wanted to draw attention to that and this amazing paper. I'll tuck that to the side there. And what else did I want to draw some attention to? Another thing, if you... In my instructions, if you saw the post yesterday, is this um, Lovely Layers Vellum Pack. Now, it is super cheap. It's like uh, $8.25. You're going to get 60 sheets of vellum in here. So on the card, I've used just a plain one. So you get 40 sheets of just plain cut ones. I did talk you into it. Awesome. <laughs> um and then you get some pattern ones. And I haven't played too much with the pattern ones yet, but there's a fun circle. 
there's a great little mountain background. And depending on the color that you put behind it, it's going to pick up differently, right? And then this one is just gorgeous. And then on the card I did for the BOGO event, I used this little speckled one and the elephant. I will turn around right now and grab you that card and then you can see it if you have not seen it. If you didn't attend the BOGO event, you might not have seen it. Um, but here it is. Isn't it adorable? So there's some of those larger um, sequins in the rose gold. And then that's from Elephant Parade. And then you'll see there that that's that vellum and then a rose gold and white uh, ribbon. So super cute, super adorable. Yes, Carly, you need to get this paper pack. Even just it, I haven't worked out the cost of the pack of vellum and like cutting it down, but um, I think you're just, it's just a go-to. I seem to be grabbing it more, so I think it would be a great addition. So what I told you to prep was, let me get my Baileys and tea here out of the way. I've been up since five, so I am uh, on about my third cup of Baileys and tea. <laughs> yes, Valerie, that mountain vellum would be awesome with the mountain air I, that is on my list to uh to create something with that even the um one that just retired um on the horizon the mountain die set or the, like the mountain die cut kind of layered up that would look really awesome on that vellum as well so we've got our card base and soft succulent uh five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then we've got a layer of um I'm just using a scrap, so I'm going to cover up this die cut. So that is a good trick. Um, if you're using a matte layer behind something and you want to die cut something as well, this one is a little close, but um, you could cut it out of the center and that takes down a little bit of the bulk in your layering, especially when you got, you know, two or three layers and um, it'll be covered up. So you won't even see it. So it's a little bit of a paper saver as well. So that's a little trick for you. So this one is four and one sixteenth by five and five sixteenths in evening evergreen. And then we've got a basic white layer piece at four by five and a quarter. So our standard sort of um, basic layer. And that's just going to layer over and you'll see like I've cut that die cut. You can see it through. But um, once we layered on the cards, you're never even going to know. So I've pre stamped my leaf so i'm just going to flip this back so i pre-stamped the leaf design out of so this one here that line drawing in versamark and then i've embossed it in white uh, embossing powder so i've got this left now i just str strategically <laughs> say that 10 times fast um planned out sort of an empty hole of where I was going to put my greeting on my vellum. So I kind of pre thought that out and where I stamped is um, pre arranged that way. Okay, so we we'll go ahead and stamp that get that ready. And then we will layer or sorry, we're not going to layer we're going to um, blend some color on our background. And if you are sort of creating along with me, You'll also want to stamp and emboss your greeting. So I've used congratulations because I thought this would be a really pretty wedding card, to be honest. Um, with just a simple flower could be done in the wedding colors and um, you can embellish sort of with whatever metallic matches um, the colors that you do in the flower. So you got some options there. And so if you want to pre-stamp that and get that ready as well, so that is a sheet from the vellum layers, which is three and three quarters by five inches. Okay, I'm just gonna set that there. So I'm gonna use my soft succulent ink and I'm gonna grab a blending brush. I'm semi-organized this morning. Um, there it is, okay. So I'm just gonna take my soft succulent ink and I kind of just tap mine off in the lid. And I'm just gonna come on and blend some color. So that'll give you some time while I'm doing this to catch up if you're playing along with me.
who's playing along with me? Are you watching first and then you create later? Please share with me if you do create what I show you. I want to see it. So you can blend this as dark or as light as you want. And you could even, if you want sort of darker color, I will grab it and we will do it just because I'm talking about it. We might as well show you, right? You can grab your Evening Evergreen ink as well and blend a little bit of the darker in there as well. It's just going to give you some different coloring. No time to prep, Rhonda. What the heck have you been doing all week? <laughs> I know you've been a busy lady on the road. So you'll see we're getting some different coloring, a little bit of dark shading, a little bit of light shading. And I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? <laughs> you just got up, Valerie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a little drink of tea there. Um, my throat's a bit dry today. Just changing up and down of weather out here in Alberta. Has uh, got some allergies going on for me and all that fun stuff. So we're just going to layer this onto our base. I'm honored that uh, Carla and Valerie, um, you uh, tune into me first thing getting out of bed. And then, of course, we've stamped our sentiment. So the sentiment came from, where's the set? This is a retired one, but you may have it in your collection, the Happy and Heartfelt. I just liked all these little sort of scripty fonts. I'm a sucker for, for um, different fonts. So this set kind of jumped out to me. So that was, just came from the mini catalog that retired. And um, it's super fun and cute. Got some different ones in there. So when we layer vellum, we've discussed this before. You want to sort of visualize sort of where your flower is going to be because that's where we're going to want to apply a bit of glue to hold this vellum down. If you want to, you can use liquid glue and like a sponge on the back of your full piece of vellum and you can stick that down. But I like to just sort of, once I've applied my embellishments, I kind of left this on purpose. Um, behind those sequins, I would just apply a little glue to hold that down. So you want to hide basically everything that you can behind your elements that you're layering just so that you don't see the glue and the dots and all that great funny weird things all right so we'll go ahead and i know i'm going to kind of put my flower in that area so i am going to just apply sort of like a little half c of glue right there to hold that down and it will have a little bit of a border around it. As you can see there, kinda. There we go. Get the right camera angle. Put that down and then we're gonna color our flower. So I've just stamped a couple leaves and a couple, or a flower here. And I'm gonna come in with my, and I didn't grab the other colors that I need. Here we go. So for the leaves, I just stuck with the colors that I had, the soft succulent and the evening evergreen. So I'm using the light to just color in the leaves. And then I'm gonna come back in and highlight the vein with the evening evergreen light. I definitely have a busy day planned out today. I'm gonna do some gardening. Clean up the yard from the dogs, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually attending this morning um, a little bit of a stamp camp. So I've just we're just on our break, which lined up perfectly to come on with you guys and craft some more. So I'm having a bit of a crafty day as well. So I would say it's the perfect day. And then I've got 30 Flamingo Light. And then I'm just going to color in my flower and oops, I did this in the wrong order. I actually did this soft or so saffron light first. 
I just peeked over at my flower and went, oh, do it in the right order, silly. So I just kind of, it's random. It's not, because um, it's such a line image, it doesn't need, you don't have to really line it up and make it look um, perfect because it's got that imperfect look to it, which I really like. It feels very organic. That's what this set sort of said to me. And once everybody's up and going, what's the plans for today? Get outside, enjoy the weather if it's nice where you are. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with my Wink of Stella. Let's use my reach across to grab it. And I just highlighted that yellow part. I'm gonna hold it up in two seconds to show you. There we go. You might not be able to see it. The camera always has trouble picking up the bling. But that's sort of what I've done with my card. You're going to the gym, Rhonda. Good choice. Get it out of the way this morning. Oops, I got a runaway flower going on here. So I'm just going to fussy cut this. As I said, it does not come with dyes, but the images are pretty um, easy to cut out. Oh, nice, Valerie. Gonna have a good visit with family. Love it. I might venture down to Ikea today, too. I don't know. I don't tend to go there on the weekends because it's an absolute gong show. But um, I have some stuff that I want and it seems with supply chain it comes into that store and uh, goes out just as quickly. So if I want it, I gotta get down there. Or I'll be smart and I'll order it online and pick it up. <laughs> I think that might be the way I go. Oh, I know, eh, Rhonda? It was such so sad when it left Victoria. And I find, it's funny, because I lived on the island for half my life. Um, Vancouver Island, I'm talking about. Um, and I very rare, like, on the odd occasion, you know, I would save up and do a big order to, when I went there. But um, I very rarely went there. And then I move out here, and I literally live, like, 12 minutes from Ikea. And I don't go there as much as I probably should now that I live closer to one. And I'm not sure if that was planned on my my hubby's part that we live close to an Ikea or <laughs> he just accidentally, you know, bought a house close to Ikea. But either way, it is very nice to have one close. But they have those great people that come and shop at the Vancouver one for the island people and um, deliver it for not too much of a cost. So if you get a bunch of gal pals together and get an order, then uh, it makes it worthwhile. I would say I would ship anything you want to you, but uh, honestly, it would probably cost a small fortune. Okay, so we fussy cut out all that goodness. I actually didn't need three leaves. I only have two on there. <laughs> and then I'm going to glue this down to our card base. And it'll have a little bit of border, obviously, around it because we want to create that layered look. And then I think I pop dotted them. Yes, I did. After I put my favorite linen thread on there. Um, I think it's a Facebook group, Rhonda, but I'll find it and send it to you for sure. It's called Cart Something, I think. I'll look it up, though. I know a few friends of mine have used it on the island to get like larger stuff like beds and dressers and stuff like that. Um, I think it's like $70 or something. They might have a minimum order um, 
Oops, that's not big enough. I'm going to need a big loopy bowl. Bow, I mean. Bowl. <laughs> you need big ears on your, your bow here. Because the flower is a little bit large, so you want it to stick out from behind. There, that looks a little bit better. Okay, we'll cut that off. I'll save that other bow for something else. Because you know I'll be making other things to prep for next week. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue. Stick my bow down and I kind of just rest my scissors on that for a second just to hold it in place. All right, and then we will go ahead and grab some dimensionals and put them on the back of our flower. And if we need to add extras, we will, but I'm just going to do two sort of on the outside edges to kind of offset um, my bow loops because you don't want a dimensional sitting right on top of your bow because otherwise it will um, get a little bulky and weird and you don't want that. All right, and then I'm going to use my bone folder and I'm just gonna curl the edge of my leaf so that I kind of got a curl on it to um, sort of give it some dimension. You can curl it up as well if you want, like that. So whichever way you want to do. And then I'm just using a small dimensional on the bottom of it to tuck it in behind my flower. So just like that. And I want on the other one. And I might put the third leaf in there just because I cut it. And we'll just tuck that in that corner. Oh, I love this card. It's so pretty. Or it might look weird. No, nope, I'll leave it off. I'll use that on something else too. So then to finish off, we're just going to use our gold sequin cutouts. Sorry, my brain gapped on the word. <laughs> and just place those down wherever you so choose. I put a big glob there. I'll swipe some of that off of my finger and just grab a wipe so I don't get it everywhere. There we go. And one more and our card is finished. What do you think? Pretty card? Do you like that? Would you make one yourself? I think it's pretty. And I think that flower would look gorgeous in different colors for sure. It is an absolutely beautiful stamp set. And it's not, I'll just find the page that it's on because I can't remember. Normally I have all these details ready for you at the ready, but I do not. It is on page 114 and it's only $25. So good deal for a very organic -y sort of um, stamp set. There it is there. Hello Beautiful is below it. And then we've got that fun alphabet um, stamp set beside it. So page 114, if you have your annual catalog at the ready. So, thanks Valerie. Yeah, I think it's super pretty. And any sort of sentiment would look perfect on it. And any sort of green colors mixture, I just think it's gorgeous. So I've got a few extras for you, of course. So as I was cutting out um, sequins, I had some leftovers and I've I actually started with this card, then I transitioned into that one. Yes, yeah, subtle and classy for sure, Rhonda. Um, so this one has that brush gold. And what I did was I just on a basic white um, cardstock piece or so a standard size four by five and a quarter. Um, I stamped the leaves along the edge and then I sort of hand cut out that edge so that the gold stuck out under underneath. So you can see that it's pretty easy to uh, to cut around those um, leaf images and not too too fussy cutty ish. And then I've used Calypso Coral here because I thought those the flowers would look really pretty in that. So that's just the light and the dark and the blends, and some soft succulent um, leaves, and then a banner with embossed in black. 
uh, sentiment on that paper. Um, I will tell you that um, probably stays on would work on this, but the memento did not stamp well onto this um, brush gold paper. It must be the finish that it has, that it just didn't work. So then I just embossed it instead. And then I, because I had, I don't know, a dozen or so of these little sequins, I just did them on that nice um, linen ribbon. Um, it's in the Abigail Rose collection. Um, natural finish ribbon so this is it here it is um, really easy to like stamp on it and make just different things it doesn't tie like it ties pretty big loopy bows so um, I wouldn't say like on packaging it would be gorgeous um, but on cards it'd be way too bulky unless of course you were hand delivering a card I'll just tie a bow here and I'll show you um, yeah if you're hand delivering then definitely you can you could add it. Um, it doesn't get too bulky, but for mailing, it definitely would be. But it's gorgeous ribbon. It has like a nice soft texture to it, kind of like linen, and uh, it is absolutely stunning. I'm just selling you on all the goodies today, aren't I? Yes, that's the one you can stamp. Well, it is stamped on in the catalog with um a, a something out of the um, Abigail, Abigail Rose. I'll just grab the page here and I'll show you. That's where we've all gotten the idea to, to stamp on it because they did it in one of the samples. So here it is here. So this is on page 57. They've just stamped that greenery on there. And it's just gorgeous. I just love it. And then here they've used it on the card in the backdrop, which I was going to do on this one, but I just sort of wanted to tone it down and not make it too much of a in your face with the leaves. I kind of like the black leaves on this side. So um, the next card I design, I might do that and do this edge in a different way and then stamp it with this lovely greenery ribbon and just change up the look a little bit. So um, that's an idea. And then of course I use those sequins there. And then the um, brush stroke DSP, I use the fern embossing folder. So I don't know, these are pretty stuck down. I'll hold it really close and you might be able to see the fern embossing folder in the background and then i've just used those line images and craft white ink uh, to stamp on just some crumb cake rectangles that i cut i'm looking at this one looks a little crooked <laughs> um, and then just use some brass butterflies in the opal round and then just a simple um i miss you i thought it was a nice little very organic-y again, but that brushed um, designer series paper is another you must have. Comes in Night of Navy, um, Blushing Bride, and then the soft succulent color, and it just embosses gorgeously, if that's even a word. <laughs> um, and then this one is using the Hostess Party Pack paper from um, our new annual catalog, and just simple in a little bit of a pool party and um, old olive theme. And then these are the iridescent pearls that just came out and the sentiment and die cut come from the sending smiles. Um, just simple, just some quick layering and uh, easy way to use up a background of designer series paper. Don't hoard it, use it, right? Now this is a fun one. I was kind of experimenting. I do like the orchid oasis color. So I thought, hmm, let's see if we can do a card in all of that. And um, I think it turned out pretty funky, actually. So I've used the stitch shape here, and then the circle is also a stitch shape. Um, it's cut again out of that um, Distress Gold paper and embossed in black again. My embossing got a little bit uh, messed up there, so I might just change that out. But, um, and then the layering of the flower, so you get the line stamp and then this background fill-in image. Um, is what it turns out, but it kind of gives you some shading as well. So you don't have to do that yourself. And then just, I just fussy cut it out. And then this is the, um, oh, I can't even remember what this ribbon is called. It's the in color um, ribbon, wiry ribbon. I don't know, somebody might uh, comment what it's actually called. Um, and then just use some brushed, or no, those are rustic metallic dots. And then the brushed brass butterflies. I always have to say that slow so I don't tongue tie myself. 
Um, and then those are just popped up and layered and I think it turned out pretty nice. It's not too in your face. And then this morning, I don't know, I had an epiphany and um, decided to create this card with just a lot of green. And I think it turned out really pretty. So that's evening evergreen. And then I've just kind of mixed up the colors here. We've got old olive, we've got mint macaron, we've got um, shaded spruce, no garden green, sorry. Um, what other, I used soft succulent with the dots. And then I came in and just um, metallic woven ribbon. <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda. Um, I've just come in and spritzed um, or flicked color with my evening evergreen marker and uh, just some linen thread. You know how I love my linen thread. This little hexagon shape comes from basic, no, beautiful shapes dies. Uh, this is from Forever Fern, this little die cut. And then of course the tailored tag. And happy birthday came out of the, um, what is it called? Hues of happiness, the flowery set. Sorry guys, I can't remember the names of anything this morning, but it got up too early. Um, that just comes out of there and then just stamp, stamp on a tag. So I think this is really pretty. Another sort of natural, whimsical, organic-y kind of card. So, any questions? We're all gonna go make a card uh, like this one today and you're gonna post it and show me, right? We win prizes that way, so you wanna post it or tag me, you can post it on your own page and tag me that you made it. I would love to see it or any of these other ones. Um, and you will see some of these again um, next week when I do my week of posts on featuring the uniquely artistic set. And if you hadn't, haven't added it to your wish list, you better. And maybe a few other things that I've suggested today. <laughs> uh, I hope you have a very crafty day and um, I thank you again for tuning in this morning with me and I will see you next Saturday, if not during the week sometime. All right, take care, paper hugs. Bye-bye.